SMIC to set up $12 billion plant in Shanghai, China for sub-14 nanometer chip nodes. The Municipal and Development Reform Commission of the Chinese Eastern Port City Shanghai has announced the list of major construction projects for 2021. This list focuses on on-chip fabrication firms, adding a host of other names in addition to the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation SMIC, which is widely thought of as China's only alternative to Taiwan's TSMC in the wake of stringent American sanctions. SMIC and others to receive government support in setting up chip fabrication lines in Shanghai, China. SMIC will be able to set up its SN1 12-inch 300mm wafer production line and it will be joined by Huawei Microelectronics who also plans to establish a 12-inch line. 12-inch silicon wafers are generally used to integrate circuit chips that are used in a host of consumer electronics. Huawei Huahong No. 5 plant in mainland China was also the country's first fully automated chip production line. It covers the 55 nanometers, 40 nanometers, and 28 nanometer process nodes and is capable of producing 35,000 wafers per month. The company is also building a second plant in Shanghai to manufacture 40,000 12 inch wafer per month, start from the 28 nanometer process and go as low as 14 nanometers. SMIC's SN1 plant is also located in Pudong, Shanghai, and it will focus on developing advanced process technology nodes below 14 nanometers. Through the plant, the chipmaker hopes to produce 35,000 units per month, and the facility requires $12 billion investment. The chipmaker is moving ahead with its plans to manufacture 7 nanometer chips, but its plans of moving further down are hampered by an inability to secure extreme ultraviolet EUV machines that use smaller light wavelength and enable fabs to easily reduce transistor size over standard diffusion lithographic equipment. Among all of these companies, Xinjiang is the most ambitious. The firm headquartered in Shenzhen city aims to beef up it to produce up to 1 million pieces per month. Currently it is capable of manufacturing 150,000 pieces per month and was the first Chinese company to successfully sell 12-inch wafers on a large scale. Its capacity expansion to 300,000 pieces per month in the second stage of the development and the chipmaker hopes that the phase will be completed by the end of 2021. In addition to chip fabrication, a burgeoning upstream and downstream industry is also taking shape in China. In this supply chain, equipment manufacturing companies are perhaps the most important as they highlight efforts towards achieving freedom from international sanctions. China Microelectronics, Xiamen Sheng Mei Shi Automation Equipment Co. Limited and KST are part of the equipment manufacturing chain, but their progress in achieving global parity is unclear.